Hi, I'm Emil Fowry, a British Olympic dressage rider. I'm often asked about getting your horse in front of the leg. For me, the most important thing is, is that being in front of the leg should become a state of mind of the horse. A horse will score at his best in a dressage test if he looks as though he wants to do it. Now, not at all times is that going to be the case, but that is something that we have to educate our horses to remain in a way of going that is free, forwards, but with a willingness, because that is what gets you the best marks at the end of the day. So, I will demonstrate to you a little bit with Della. I must stress that Della is a young mare that has only recently joined me and still in the process of her education. So we will see if we can get her to, uh, with a few exercises, to, to get to a state of, uh, to a point where she really wants to go forward. The most important thing as a rider to remember is kicking a horse does not make them go in front of the leg. That is not the answer. The answer is in creating a soft, supple, happy horse that is healthy in their, in their bodies and then we create a horse to want to go forward. Most importantly in the transition work is that I always in transition work give my horse a bit of freedom. Every transition that I ride I tend to think and a little bit forward in giving without throwing away the contact but to allow my horse to stretch in the rain and then a transition to walk. She's a young horse, my transitions will be progressive to start off with and I will use my voice. And then again in the upwards transition I will make sure that I ease my hand, ask for her to trot, use my voice there again to encourage her and then again possibly backing up my leg a second time to make sure that she is traveling forwards. The next thing I will do is to make sure that I ride another forward transition into canter. Most important of all, that I prepare well sitting trot forward and encourage her straight away into a very forward working canter. Sometimes if that means she has a bit of a buck and a play, I don't mind. But it's more important for me that she goes in a positive and a forwards way into the upwards transition back to trot and in the beginning stages I would there go back to rising trot and again an upwards transition to canter and then she took the wrong lead entirely my fault so nothing other than back to trot this time I'll stay in sitting she did that on her own so I make her wait make her wait and forward the canter and immediately that time as she went into canter she didn't take me forward as much as I would have liked so I asked again and back to trot I'll stay in sitting and canter and then I'll lean forward let her go on a bit out of the saddle and then sit down again just everything I can do to encourage her to think forwards. It's more important with a young horse for me that they should think forwards. And there's nothing wrong with using the upper half of your body by leaning forwards a little bit to encourage the horse to travel. And downwards transition to trot. And again to canter. And that time, because of what I did the time before, she immediately pulled forwards into the bridle into a nice active working canter. And then the same for me in trot. It's about making sure that even from this young age that I start playing with transitions a little bit within the pace. So here I'll slow the trot down a bit ask her to just wait a bit and then I'll ask whoop, she understood canter then I'm going to keep the canter for a circle and then back to trot it's not what I wanted but that is just a question of misunderstanding and then again I'll ask her to go a bit more forwards in the trot 
good girl and then gradually ask her to come a little bit steadier in the rhythm and then gradually I'll ask her to move on again and then gently and very progressively and not backwards with the contact I'll ask her to come back a bit again and then again a smidgen more forward most important of all is that she stays within a consistent rhythm I think the most important thing is to create a willing horse and as I said getting a horse in front of the leg does not come from a boot from the back end it comes from creating a horse that is willing and wanting to do the work Thank you.